I'm going to show you Alpine Savvy's uh, improved clove hitch. So you're going to make a clove hitch, make a loop, make a loop. Take this one, put it behind the other one. These two, two bites here. Put it in your ATC, pencil reverse or whatever you, you have. Both of them. See, they're a little cumbersome to get in there sometimes. Take your uh, boy beater. I'm using a getting crossloaded already. I'm using a uh, Black diamond griddle lock here. I like this. It is right. Hope I have it situated right. I'll get their details out later. Then take another beaner, put it in this top lo loop here. Lock that down. Uh, by the way, I'm not qualified to instruct anybody. Just what I do for practice. I'm on a progression myself. I'm learning this stuff. In a couple of minutes would be the first time I've ever used this actually climbing. So, uh, like I say, uh, this is what I do for practice then you would uh, take slack and you pull in like that and it bites down then you uh, take out some more slack and take out more slack as you proceed up your rope ascending for top rope practice or whatever and uh, I definitely would use a catastrophe knot a bite knot like a overhand as you're going up periodically on this sucker so uh, that's that you get, get the picture here i've had them kind of in practice sessions ground kind of seize up on me because it's apparently because it's like dynamic rope so uh, again this is where this uh self rescue make a make a guard a hitch you got a foot loop and stand up on it you can loosen things up or whatever so that's that that's uh the improved clove hitch such as it is uh, like i said it's just what i do for practice on my progression gopro stop recording